in my experience of using AI with dozens of clients over the last two or three years for their SEO, if you're just banging out content out of chat GPT, then you can pat yourself on the back, Jack, because you're wasting your own time and money. It might rank for a couple of weeks and then it will drop off and serve no benefits to your business. And so I want to show you in this video how you can use perplexity to build high quality content really quickly that actually ranks long term. So I want to head over and grab my first prompt. All of my prompts that I use are hidden in my LA at Prince's mega prompt chest. There's a link in the description to this below where you can find all of this stuff for free. First, we need to do some competitor research. So we'll jump down to the competitor analysis section and grab this first enhanced competitor gap analysis prompt. Now we need to add some of our competitors in here. So I've just grabbed three accountants in London to use as our case study here. So I'll drop those examples in there from the top three rankings of accountants in London. And essentially, we're going to use this prompt to analyze, find out what content overlaps on these to prove that there's some demand and find out what we can exploit and make sure when we're running these research prompts we want to sh turn on research mode because this is really important because it's actually going to allow perplexity to go deeper and research potentially hundreds of pages on these guys websites and surrounding sites now you'll see as well when we're actually reviewing sources and everything the great thing about perplexity is it provides accurate citations and tends not to hallucinate and make things up as much as chat gpt or other similar llms and honestly perplexity is so quick in its research it does everything in just a few minutes so we've got our topic silos i've asked it to build us out three topic silos with potential competitor vulnerabilities of where they focus a little bit on stuff, but actually not close enough and pulled out some target keywords. We could take those target keywords and get some data on them, but for the sake of this video, we'll just use these. So we can see we've got making tax digital, we've got small business VAT optimization and R&D tax credits, all options for content areas we could focus on. Now, I'm just going to take the first keyword here because it's probably a pretty good one for any accountants, making tax digital for small businesses, massive issue in the UK at the moment. We actually want to take this keyword and use it with our next prompt. And this is a place where people go really wrong with AI and they just use a really short, lazy prompt that actually doesn't do a very good job. So we want to jump next to our content research and blog post outline. Most people would probably just use these short first three lines, but you can see this goes way more in depth um, giving it context, giving it its role, giving it how we want to output, as well as different sections within this. We've got a really in-depth piece for our writer, or if we want to use AI to write it, to actually work off with everything we need. This is probably, for me, the most important part of the whole content creation process, because this is going to set the scene for success or failure. So we want to add our keyword in there, making tax digital for small businesses. We can see we've given it a process content gaps, outlines, and the final output format. I've got things in here like using the so what copywriter method so we can always be referring back and gain original insights into why this is important and feed that information really easily to a writer or AI. And now it's finished, we've got our full research back outline. We've got our key talking points. We can see we're all referencing government information in here as well. So we can either include those citations or talk around them in our article, key talking points. And then each section has got every key talking point that we need to hit as our writer and a so what area so we can always be hinting back to the reader about why this is critical supporting evidence and a competitive edge that we can add to our article that our competitors are missing now we've got two options here we could go and open up a new chat and we could actually ask perplexity or any other ai model to go and write this content i'm not always a fan of that i still like a human to actually write my content i think it's good marketing and it tends to rank better over the long period of time now i need to interject something really important at this stage because we can actually change an important setting here for this next content creation task we actually want to switch over to claude for sonnet because that tends to give a better content output than any of the other models out there right now and the cool thing about perplexity is you can select other llms within the platform so you can use their own inbuilt models you can use Claude, you can use Gemini, you can use ChatGPT and Grok4 all within Claude, depending on your preferred choice for this next content creation stage. Next, we want to go down to our next prompt in here, which is actually my transcript to blog post converter. This is one of my favorite prompts that actually speeds up content creation in everything I do. Because what actually I like to do when I'm creating content is use my voice. I like to talk. Yes, there are apps that can help transcribe for you, but I like to have the freedom of being able to talk into something like Riverside or Google Recorder and just transcribe a whole article. It's like three or four times faster. And I find it delivers way more insightful conversation content a lot of the time when I've got these deep content research outlines. And this prompt helps us go from an audio transcript, or you could use a YouTube video transcript, all sorts of things, anything voiced really, 
into a polished article that sounds like I wrote it myself that keeps my wording, my phrasing, my style, make sure the final post should read like I sat down and wrote it myself with my phrasing and wording. Assuming you've used your article outline to record your transcript, you can then just paste your transcript in the bottom here, hit run, and Perplexity is going to go and use Claude within its system to actually write the content for you. You actually get the citations through this information as well where relevant, so that's really handy to actually add those back in at this point. And honestly, it doesn't take long at all. In just a few minutes, you've gone from keyword to transcript to completely written blog post that you can go and edit and polish finally. Now from here, we could go and improve things further, use something like our key takeaways extractor, which is going to you know give us those key takeaways core points at the top of the article. Article, which are really nice to add in. So we could add that in and get that prompt to run from the article we've just written to give us a nice summation as well. So you can see we can actually have these four key takeaways that we could put at the top of our article based on what we've written relevant to everything, which is a handy takeaway for the reader. Now, the final thing I want to do is, yes, you go and get this published. You could ask you could go and get some multimedia and images and videos created. But actually, after you've finished, the final step that most people miss that really harms their ranking is sitting in my prompt chest as well. We actually want to go and find our internal linking strategy. This is going to be really helpful because it's going to find places on our website that we could link this page to. So we could grab this prompt and add this again into our perplexity here. Now I need to grab a website. I'm just going to use this example from Free Agent and say this is the actual content we've written because obviously I haven't actually published this on a website and add the link to the main website into perplexity here. So we want to put the home page here and we want to put our target link here because what we actually want this to do is go and find internal pages on our website that we can internally link to and from from our new post which is a massive seo boost so we can go and run that prompt make sure we've actually got deep research turned on so we can actually get the full depth of into a website you can see here actually it did struggle a bit with this particular website i'm not sure why but it's actually gone into its agent mode to actually start exploring the website to find opportunities that we can actually use for internal linking again saves us doing it ourselves and it's got going and you can see the output that you're getting here we're getting a table being made that gives us our source page url the anchor text so we don't even need to think about our anchor text from these pages uh, the sentence that we can add to these particular pages and blog posts and our placement location about where in that post we should actually be placing the link. So all we have to do is jump into our website, add this information into the right page of our website, copy and paste the sentence in there with the link and we're good to go for our internal linking. And if you want more ideas of how you can start using AI tools like Perplexity for your content research, then check out this video right here.